Greetings, greetings, greetings. I hope all is well today. It's a blessed day. And we were blessed to see it. It's wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Terrific Thursday. And we are all blessed. We're here. We're embracing another day. And I'm happy to be here and share stories with you again today. Um, so let's begin with my song. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. In the stories that I read every day. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Aunt Carol. Hello, Carlton. And hello to everyone out there. So I've been sharing stories that deal with um, uh, supporting children through different social emotional situations with names, with um, marches, um, understanding differences. And those are important stories. And so are the fun, lighthearted stories. So today I'm going to read a story that I read to you before. It's a fun, lighthearted story, a children's classic. People love it all over the world. And it's The Gingerbread Man. And this version is by Bonnie Dopkin. Let me turn this light so it doesn't wet film the book. Let's see. Okay. Trying to get these lighting right. One day I'm going to have a professional come in and set up my whole office so the lighting is just expert. But right in the meantime, bear with me. The Gingerbread Man. The gingerbread man. Can you see it? Once upon a time, a little old man and a little old woman owned a little old bakery. They baked cakes and pies and breads and muffins and popovers so light they almost floated. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. But what they loved to make most were gingerbread cookies. They made gingerbread boys and gingerbread girls, gingerbread rabbits and gingerbread squirrels, gingerbread cats and gingerbread dogs, gingerbread homes made from gingerbread logs. I know, said the little old woman one day, let's make a big gingerbread man to put in our bakery window. That's a wonderful idea, said the little old man. They mixed up some flour and butter and eggs, enough for a body, two arms and two legs. They rolled the dough flat with an old rolling pin and laid out the shapes on a big baking tin. Then they popped the cookie in the oven and waited. Ooh, this is an awkward book. A wonderful aroma filled the room. The little old woman and the little old man sniffed inside. Suddenly there was a rattling and a clattering. Let me out, cried an odd little voice from inside the oven. Let me out now. The little old woman flung open the door. Out popped the gingerbread man. You're alive, said the little old man. You can talk, said the little old woman. Yes, said the gingerbread man, and I can run away from you. Goodbye. He dashed out the door. The little old woman and the little old man chased after him. Wait, wait, come back. We baked you to put in our window. But the gingerbread man just laughed. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And just watch me prove it, he yelled. The gingerbread man dashed down the middle of the street. 
He ran by a policeman and stuck out his tongue. Hey, said the policeman, waving his nightstick, you can't insult an officer of the law. Then he smelled a wonderful gingerbread smell, but you would make a wonderful snack. The gingerbread man just laughed and said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. And I can run away from you too. Oh, yes, I can. I can. He's a fast little creature. On the very edge of town, the gingerbread man passed a mangy dog eating out of a garbage can. He kicked the can as he raced by. Yow, yelled the dog, pulling his head out of the can. Now that was just plain mean. Then he sniffed the wonderful gingerbread smell. Wait, said the dog, you taste a lot better than garbage. The gingerbread man just laughed. And said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from a little old woman. I ran away from a little old man. I ran away from a man of the law with a big stick in his hand. I'm the fastest thing on gingerbread feet. And the next part of my plan is to run, run, run far away from you too. Oh, yes, I can. I can. Now the gingerbread man ran out of town and into a field where a horse and cow were grazing. He zoomed up to them, yanked their tails, and ran away. Ouch! yelled the horse. Nasty creature, cried the cow. Then they sniffed the wonderful gingerbread smell. No, wait, come back. You'd be much better than grass. But the gingerbread man just laughed and said... And to those boys and girls that are watching, what did he say? Say it with me at home. Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from the little old man. I ran away from a man of the law and a dog in a garbage can. I'm the fastest thing on gingerbread feet. And the next part of my plan is to run, run, run far away from you too. Oh, yes, I can. I can. Suddenly, the gingerbread man came to a wide river. He stopped. He knew water and cookies don't mix. You look worried, said a voice. The gingerbread man looked up. A fox stood smiling at him. I am worried, said the gingerbread man. Uh, you, you see... I ran away from the little old woman. I ran away from a little old man. I ran away from a man of the law and a dog in a garbage can. I ran away from a very mad horse and I ran from a silly old cow. I've run too far and I've run too fast to let them catch me now. Climb on my, ba my back, said the fox stepping into the river. I'll carry you across. Oh, no, you don't, said the gingerbread man, jumping back. You just want to eat me, too. I don't even like cookies, said the fox. Just climb on my tail. It's as far away from my mouth as you can get. All right, said the gingerbread man. That seems safe, and he hopped on the fox's tail. You know, foxes are sneaky. Let's see what happens. The fox moved into the water. After a time, he grunted. You know, my tail is getting very tired. Would you mind moving to my back? No problem, said the gingerbread man. Halfway across the river, the water got deeper. You know, said the fox, I think you'd be much safer on my shoulders. You might be right, said the gingerbread man, and he moved again. Now they were at the deepest part of the river. Even my shoulders may not be high enough, said the fox. 
Then I'll get on your head, said the gingerbread man, and he climbed between the fox's ears. Finally, they reached the far side of the river. Ha, said the gingerbread man. I told them all they'd never catch you. Thank you, Mr. F F Flip. The fox tossed back his head. Snap. He caught the gingerbread man in his jaws. Crunch. That was the end of the gingerbread man. The fox sat under a tree licking his, the crumbs from his lips. He was the fastest thing on gingerbread feet. It's a shame I ruined his plan. But that, I'm afraid, is what happens to every tasty gingerbread man. And that, my dear listeners, is the story of the gingerbread man. I hope you enjoyed this story. Stories are so wonderful. They can help soothe us, help inform us, help educate us, help entertain us, and also always stimulating our mind. So make sure you read every day. The more you read, the smarter you get. So to those that commented on Carol Carlton, hey, Corey. Hey, Cuz Latarsia. I hope your daughter's watching too. I love you for joining in. I appreciate the support. And I wish all of you a wonderful and blessed day. Be safe. Be well. Use safe guidance and safe and common sense. Okay? And practice faith over fear. Much love. See you tomorrow. Peace.